Howdy gamers, and welcome! My name is Codeboy Advance, and we're going to be playing Made of Skrrr. It's a spoopy, spoopy, spoopy game, and I'm kind of excited because it's been a long while since I played a spoopy game. I do play Dead by Daylight, but after a while it gets less scary and more competitive. You know what I mean? Like, the scare factor's gone. Besides a few, like, couple jump scares with some killers. But... This game, completely new. I'm excited. It's a spoopy game. I might scream. I might... Cry. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm excited. If you enjoy what you see, I hope you consider following me on my social medias. My handle is CodeBoyColorSP on the Twits, the Ints, and the Ticks. There's also links below in the description. Uh, but without further ado, let's cut to the intro so we can get started. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Dearest Thomas, these are not words I wish to write. My father has learned of our plans, my love. Yet there is more, far worse, that I wish you to understand, but I fear you may believe me taken with madness. My father seeks to use me, as I have come to believe he used my poor mother. He wishes me to sing for him as she did to become the star attraction that will draw good folk to this accursed spit of land. My refusal to do so has led to my confinement here at Scare Hotel. Stop, Scare I cannot explain further, but ask that you trust me. I beseech you to compose a melody for me, a counter to the song contained within this locket of my mother's. I realize this request will seem strange, that your first thought will be to come straight here, but without your composition, all hope of holding back the darkness gathering here will be lost. Your love, always, Elizabeth. None but a pure heart can sing. That's why my singing sucks. I get it. I get it now. The, oh, that makes so much sense. I'm just going to turn that down. Use the phonographs to save your game. Okay. So <laughs> it was loud. I'm sorry. I want to turn it back up, but I don't know what to turn it up to. Let's leave it here for now. If it's cool, it's cool. If it's not, we'll change it. E. Music sheet, Thomas Evans. Rotate it. <laughs> so... In the beginning, it sounded like a child, right? But are we not a child? Skur Island. Inventory. Spect. Ooh, triangle. So something goes in there, like a puzzle. Why does I have to be the inventory? Why can't tab be the inventory? What does that make a lot more sense? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't play a lot of RPGs. I know a lot of RPGs use I as inventory, but for me, it's never been one of the ones. Okay, sorry about that. We go here. Grand reopening, Skirt Hotel. Special performance by Elizabeth Williams, the new the new maid of Skur. Daughter of famed singing sensation Prudence Williams. Enjoy the rest restorative peace and spa waters of Skur Point. October 30th, 1897. Like right now, it's 1897? No map. Just about the phonographs, and there's no dates on these. 
Hmm. Anything? Nope. Oh, cool, I could run. I'm running. <laughs> Nothing in there. What's this? The Irish Sea. Skirt Hotel. There's a church, Skirt Point. So where are we? Skirt Island. Dude, this is a dream of mine. I want to one day go into a train like this and go travel across the country. That'd be so cool. It'd be like... Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Skirt Hotel, Skirt Point. So I have a heartbeat, and it seems to beat when I run. So am I going to get tired at some point? Let me see. Let's test this now before we have to test it later. I'm breathing. Okay. Breathing, breathing, breathing. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. I don't seem to be getting tired. Even though I'm breathing and my heart's racing, I can still... I'm running. Am I slowing down? I think I'm slowing down. I can go a long distance, actually. What's this? Grand reopening Skirt Hotel. Special performance, but I already read this. So wait, I hear a boy singing. You know, but we're a man. So is it us as a boy? Let's go through here. I believe... Because I know you're going to have to hold your breaths at some point during this game, so it doesn't mean... That means you shouldn't run as much, you know what I mean? Because holding your breath is going to be how you survive. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Save game like that. And, oh. due to my newfound fame and fortune, that we were able to open Scare Hotel and embark on the charitable work which... Mother? Mother? Darling, can't you see I'm recording? What have I told you? Never to interrupt when the door is closed. I'm sorry, Mother. Well, no harm done. I shall record this again later. But while you're here, my darling, why not sing for me? Of course, Mother. <clears throat> So are those going to be important? Like, am I going to have to listen to all of those? <laughs> I hope this isn't a music reading puzzle because I have no idea. Continue. More sheet paper. Ooh, this game's pretty. <laughs> Got an old rusty bridge. This is Welsh or is it British? I think it. Oh, I don't remember. On the storm, on the Steam store page, it said British folklore, but then I've heard other people say Welsh as well, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's both. I heard that it's about like some Welsh. Um, what do you call it? I guess yeah, folklore is what you would call it. What's that? But I didn't read too much into it because I like to go into these things blind and just like discover it all for myself. What was that? Can I open this? Hello? Okay, yeah, I can. What was that? It was like a voice, a ghost. That's pretty. Would you all live here? I would. I would live here. Well, okay, if they had fiber internet, I would live here. If they didn't, I'd have to rethink some choices.
Am I on the other side? Of the gate? Is that where we were? No, it's a different... But it's closed off, so I'm guessing this is the only path. I hear that boy singing again. Or is it a girl? Skr Hotel! Yo. Would y'all ever come to this place? Like, it looks haunted, but I'd be so down to, like, spend a night in here or something. Beep beep. Where to, miss? The stars. <laughs> oh, open. Easy. Work. Yeah! Oh, tools, do I need them? Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Whenever they sing in games, I just, I just, I can't help but copy. I do, I do the same thing too in real life, where I'll, um, if someone's like talking to me and I'm really like into the conversation i will copy their their mannerisms or like how they talk or how they move their hands i'll start moving my hands the way they move their hands because i'm so in like i'm so in depth with their story and what they're telling me and then they get bugged they're like are you copying me and i'm like no oh no i'm sorry i just i, I just do that whenever i'm like really paying attention to a person afterwards they seem pretty chill about it but at first they think i'm just making fun of them I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's like a thing. Sure, it's fine. Water. I'm drinking coffee right now. I'm sorry. It is 3 a.m. No, it's 4 a.m. I'm sorry. It's 4 a.m. I'm drinking coffee. But I will be switching to scotch later. <laughs> I just want to get like a solid like foundation with the video game before I start drinking. Whoa, can you guys see that? Let me check right away. Yeah, okay. When I first started recording, my Elgato, it was it was so dark, I had to up the contrast in order for you guys to see it because it was just a black screen. Oh, there's a phone ringing. Hello? The phone is to my left. Hello? It's Thomas. Is that you, Elizabeth? Oh, select. Really? Thomas! My Thomas! You do not know how wonderful it is to hear your voice. Your letter said, what happened here? Where are you? Let's start with the letter. I prayed that you received it. Hoped that you would come. I know my request must have seemed strange, and I fear it was all for naught, that everything has changed now. What happened here? I do not have the words or heart to voice it. It is far too terrible to recount. Please be careful, my love. This place is no longer safe. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't look like it was really safe. There's a lot going on here. I'm not going to lie. There's like a wolf screaming songs, singing people. I don't know. It doesn't seem safe at all. Where are you? I'm safe upstairs, but I cannot leave the attic. I've had to lock and bar the door, hide away from the others. Who? Who are you hiding from, Elizabeth? My father and uncle, the staff. They have been beguiled by the darkness that inhabits this place. They are no longer themselves, but stalk these halls, attacking anyone that makes a sound. Please, Thomas, listen carefully. I'm listening. Together we can put a stop to all of this. Okay. My father made recordings on brass cylinders of a song, a strange melody that affects the mind. If all of the cylinders are played together on the harmonium, this madness will end. You need to find them and bring them to me. You must find all of the brass cylinders. Okay. I thought there was going to be more. Okay, brass cylinders, collect them, bring them to her. I'm sure there's not going to be any kind of 
twist or, you know, foolishness, thievery, some traitorous storyline about to unfold, I'm sure it's just going to be totally fine. In loving memory of Prudence William, 1852 to 1894. May her song live on forever. So is this our mother? Is Prudence our mother? She's beautiful. She looks sick in that picture though. Like actually. Did you guys hear that? When I rang it the first time, look, it sounded like there were um, footsteps running up here and I was scared. Makes me mad that enters the button. We can't just use E. Like, really? Does it have to be enter? Grand reopening, dress rehearsal, 22nd of October, 1897. Preparation of the Grand Harmonium. So is that... That's what we're... Is that... Okay. Is that Grand Harmonium the same Grand Harmonium we're going to do where we collect all the stuff? Hire additional staff. Check. Sound checks. Nope. Stage preparation. Check. Print bills and flyers for main event on the 30th. Check. Decorations, bunting, and banners. Check. Additional chairs. Check. Order more bottles of wine, yo, yes, check. We have to find the wine. Shipment of caviar. Red. Oh, it's in my journal. Cool. What's this? <laughs> Toggle crouch, got it, got it. What's this? I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. What's that? What's that icon over there? Is there a legend? <laughs> Ground floor. Look for cylinders around the hotel. Investigate the hotel. I have to look for brass cylinders. And what is that? Is that a brass cylinder? It looks like it looks cylindrical and it looks musical, so it could be. Up in that corner. Ooh. Anything over here? No? Okay. Do do do. Guys, okay, so I'm pretty, okay. I do like horror games, I really do. But I do freak out and get scared easily. But the thing is, is that whenever I get scared, I don't really like scream, shout, or like, Ooh! you know what I mean? What I do is I'll, I'm like a possum. I'll freeze up and I'll wait until like death takes me, honestly, is what happens. But, so it's gonna be interesting because I'm gonna try and be audible for this one since I am recording a game, you know? I don't know why this opened. Does this do something? So we need a key? What goes in the door though? I'm not sure. But I'm gonna try and be audible when I get scared here. Because I do because <laughs> it's entertaining to me when people I when I hear people get scared when they're playing video games. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try. But if I don't, it's not because I didn't get scared, it's because I froze up and I don't know how to proceed. My brain's like dying. Let's go at the end of this hall, in that room, there's, I'm guessing, a brass cylinder. I'm guessing. I don't know. Open this door. Ooh, pretty. Everything's dusty. Oh, saving. Cool. Is there going to be, like, a little thing I have to listen to? Yep. Don't do that. Abraham! Where is that useless brother of mine? Father, please! Please, she just misses mother. Abraham! Abraham! I'll be rid of this dog once and for all! That's fucked up. Don't hurt your puppies. Literally, dogs, I'm telling you right now. They are loving creatures. If they are ever bad or evil, it's because people have trained them to be bad and evil. Dogs are like, they're so pure hearted, you know? And yes, they do bad shit, like eat frogs and squirrels. Is anyone there? Oh shit. Uh, who's there? Who are you? It's me, it's Thomas. Yes. Ugh, enter, why enter? <laughs> Henry, Henry Hughes, you must get me out. Hurry, do I? We must get this door open. Do I? Why did they lock you in there? Why do you think? They're clearly rogues. They're trying to kidnap me. Please hurry. Do something. I'll try to find a key. What? 
No, no, don't leave me. They might return any minute. Oh, do something. I can't break it down from my side. What do you want me to do? I need a key. Stand. What? Stand back. Good. Good. Try again. Harder, man. Throw yourself into it. No, 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 no. I don't like this. They're coming. Oh, God, please, no. No, don't do this. Whatever you want, I. <gasps> No. Does that mean he's coming for me as well? No. Oh shit. This is the part. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Okay. I'm scared. Music doll. What would I do with this? This rotating is not working the way I think it's supposed to <laughs> work. Okay, cool. Great. Music doll. No idea what to do with that. Another thing about scary games is that it takes me a strong second to move if I know there's an enemy around. I have to hype myself up like, you got this, you got this. But nothing to do there. Door. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, this is where he This is where um Oh no. Do I want it open? I do not want that open. I'm going to leave now. I didn't realize. That was where the guy was like, oh, help me, and then he got dragged away. Oh, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> ah! Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. The fuck was that? A skull! A lock! Oh, I have no key, sorry. Uh, read please. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with an hook, or his tongue with a cord which thou lettest down? Canst thou put an hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Wilt thou... Take him for a servant for ever. Wilt thou play with him as with a bird? Or wilt thou bind him for thy mistress? Shall she make a banquet of him? Shall she partake of him among others? Canst thou fill his skin with hot iron? Job 41. Therefore I will wail and howl. I will go stripped and naked. I will make a wailing like the dragons and mourning as the sirens. Micah 1.8. J.A. Williams, 1874. Is that our papa? I'm not sure. The hell is this? Well, I got one of them. It's just like a little music box. What's gonna happen though? <laughs> so is this where they made him crazy? They put him in there that... Oh, I don't... Should I ring that? I don't know, I'm scared. Okay, let's ring it. Nothing? Okay. <laughs> Still nothing, we can't, yeah. It's just a keyhole, no idea where to get a key. I have one of the cylinders. You said to take it to her in the attic. I'm so scared.
Like, I feel like I'm hearing footsteps, but I'm not sure if I'm hearing footsteps. I'm hearing my footsteps for sure, but I, I don't know if I'm hearing other people's footsteps. Oh! Oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot that after the electricity went off, the first thing to do was to come and turn the power back on. Great! This is open. I don't wanna, but I have to. Let's go to B. Basement level. Because G is ground, right? Yes, ground, basement. I don't like it. This is where that guy was dragged or drug? Drugged. What's the proper term? This is where his body was brought, if he is dead. I'm I, assuming with the blood on the floor, he's pretty, pretty dead. And I do not have a map for down here. All right, save and listen to the new backstory. How dare you! Get out! Get out of here now! I'm just my father's oafish tool. Tool, am I? What the fuck do you know about it? Hello? No. That will be you, lass. You'll soon see. And mark me when I say that the only instrument here is you. I said get out! Go! Come on, leave me be! Of course! That's her hoity-toity fucking ladyship commands. God, that man! <sighs> but what did he mean? About you being a tool? Well, obviously he's using you, and I think he's using your voice, because since we're hearing a voice singing throughout the, the entire place, I'm guessing he successfully used you, and something's going on with the people. I'm guessing. But we'll see, as the story unfolds, if I am right or if I am incorrect. Yeah, the uncle sounds like a fucking asshole, though. I don't like men who think they're in power. Like, it's fine if a man is in power, that's great, but I don't like men who... Oh, I guess anybody. I don't like anybody that's, like, uses their power for... Ugh! Ah! <gasps> so that scared me. Did that scare any of you? <laughs> Objective updated. What is it? Look for cylinders around the hotel. Follow the follow the men. That's the new objective. But yeah, anybody that uses their power for evil, I don't like it. That's such a generic, like, kindergartner thing to say. But it's true, people shouldn't be abusive. <laughs> God, that scared me! Ooh, that scared me. Okay, I'm good. I'm good, though. I'm good. What's this? Nervous tonic. A. Bloodwind's nervous tonic. Will I need this, or do I just put it back? Nervousness, irritability, or temper. Want of strength and energy. Fear, dread, neuralgia. I don't know what that means. Melancholy, insomnia. Cures everything. Oh, it's a heal. Oh. Oh, shit. There's a healing factor. Fuck. We're not just going to automatically heal. We have to actually, like, find tonics to heal. That makes me say it. I hear phone ringing. What is this? Read. Um, June 11th, Mr. and Mrs. Wainscombe. Wainscombe? Wainscombe. 
elderly couple, no children, Exeter, D- Devon, clothes, two six, trinkets, two three. June 13th, Reverend Alistair Gray, charlatan, Shelton, Chet, Chet, Cheltenham, <laughs> unlikely to be missed, fire again, nothing salvageable. August 3rd, Mr. Victor Williamson, merchant, traveling alone, Bristol, clothes, two trinkets, two. September 24th, Mr. Ernest Sharp, test subject, painter, traveling alone, rye, east, sex, clothes, third trinket, second. September 27th, Mr. and Mrs. Matthews, test subjects, retired clerk, Winsford, Cheshire. October 3rd, Arthur Morris, musician, traveling alone, London. Matilda Norton, October 7th, musician, traveling alone, Bristol. Another musician, asking too many questions, very evasive. Why? So people are dying and disappearing. I'm guessing it's... I'm guessing it's the evil people that we just saw. Where's the phone? It sounds like it's back here. Nope. That was incorrect. I'm scared. <laughs> the barricade, but nothing to gather. Guess the phone's through here then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello, is it you, Elizabeth? In here. Okay. There's blood. It's in here. I'm a map, I'm a map, I'm a map, I'm a map, I'm a map. Cool. Locked, great. Where is it? It sounds like it's in this area right here. So I'm guessing it's in there. I don't wanna. Here it is. This is where the guy went. Hello. Hello. Elizabeth, are you there? Are you safe? I'm here. There was someone else in the attic outside the door, but. I think they've gone now. Elizabeth, there's another man here. Do you know him? I don't. But you must look to yourself first, Thomas. If you should be caught too... They seem to be drawn to sound. You must remain quiet. Okay. They attacked him. They, they dragged him away. Dear God! Horrific! I dread to think of you being snatched like that too. Our one hope of helping him, helping all of them, is finding the cylinders. The ones who took that man. They can't see, it seems. But why? What do you think is wrong with them? I, I knew noise attracted them, but what happened to their faces? I've managed to find one of the cylinders. Well done, my love. There's hope yet for us all. The others should be here in the hotel or in the grounds. Please take the utmost care. And if I, I know, don't... bitch. It means I've had to hide that they've come back. Okay. My love is in the attic and she's probably behind all of this. I'm not sure. We'll see. Sounds like now it's the father and the uncle that are plotting, but at the moment... I mean, anything. Up for debate, really. Oh! <laughs> Y'all, that got me. Okay. It's just a little thing, but it's because I'm prepping for something big that even like the teeniest of little things right now are like getting to me. And this isn't just the stream, the the recording. It's actually this dark. Is there anything else in here? Oh wait, I'm guessing these little music dolls are collectibles. I guess I get an achievement. I don't know if they matter to the story at all. Mm -hmm. 
I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. We like to move it. Bum, 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 bum. Take your sweet time with that one, didn't you? He just crawled under. Ugh. That one did not scare me, actually. But I did get kind of nervous when he was reaching out. Fun little thing I'm gonna do. I don't know if you guys wanna do it too. I'm going to hold my breath when he holds his breath. Just like, I don't know, it'd be kind of fun. Like in real life, I'm gonna hold my breath. Where the hell did he go? Is he in here? Hello? Where'd he go? There's nowhere else for him to go. But here. Yes, I know. Enter. Enter. Hello. I would like to... Hello? Guys, I'm stuck. I can't continue. Am I missing something? Here we have the first glitch of the game. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna restart. I'll be right back. Okay, I actually didn't notice that there was a bell. It rang and then the guy ran away. I, are these bells like a way to summon them? I'm guessing? I'm not sure. And I picked up the tonic, but I didn't use it this time. I want to see if I heal on my own over time, or if not. But let's see if the glitch is still happening. Okay, cool. We're good. It is a new game, so there are going to be bugs and glitches. But, like, honestly, that was the first time ever for me. Because, well, I usually don't play games right away. But since I started uploading YouTube videos, I thought, well, I better start getting into the habit of playing, like... Like games, like new games, you know what I mean? Because I always wait a little bit. And so bugs and glitches, I'm going to start experiencing them. It's going to be kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. What was that? Are they above me? Fuck, there's areas where I'm going to be coughing. How do I know I'm safe? Let me go. <sighs> Tonic! Should I heal or should I save it? I don't know. I'm going to save it. I don't know. I might need it. I want to run, but I know I can't run because I need my breath. You know what I mean? What's this? Okay. Backing up. Okay. <laughs> so I'm still not at the epitome of fear yet. You know what I mean? Like the, the masked guy reaching out for us and us having to hold our breath. Like that didn't scare me. Like the stupid, like just a bag hanging. The bag hanging scared me. But the guy reaching out, like actually trying to scare me, didn't scare me. Isn't that weird? Okay. Graveyards are also very pretty. I'm not gonna lie, graveyards are pretty cool. <gasps> I should be fine, right? If I'm just like walking around. Because they can't see, they can only hear. 
So if I'm walking, I should be good, right? Shh, the fuck up! Bitch. And there's a heartbeat. Is that my heartbeat? Or is it his heartbeat? There's also a bear trap. I don't know if that's going to activate. Go around. I feel like... I don't know if they've put, like... Noise puzzles around? You know what I mean? Wait, which way is it going? Okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Really? Really? You're gonna cough over there? He's gonna cough. When we get close to the fire, he's gonna cough. <coughs> you fucking... Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. God. Give me this. I <laughs> He's gonna cough right at the fire. Like, okay. I've been around campfires, and I'm sure a lot of you have been around campfires. You don't just, like, <coughs> right away. You know what I mean? I hear whispers of the Williams family and their evil deeds they have committed. There's too much circumstance to suggest that they are honest men. The leader of these criminals, Jebediah Williams, the head of the Williams family, they are more than humble fishermen with deep pockets. It is unusual and suspicious. I am sure they are the cause of the missing, sh missing ships around Skir Island in the recent years. The poor lost souls of each vessel collateral for lining their pockets hidden on their land i am going to find the truth the rumors must have some morsel of truth to them the williams family are smugglers wreckers and murderers i will expose them and the good people will know the truth i mean if you're starting if you're there was that list of missing people but i mean if you're gonna be killing a bunch of people in ships Odds are, do, so do I cough when I go next to a torch too? No, okay. Odds are you're gonna be on the spotlight a little bit, wouldn't you think? <laughs> everyone's gonna be, cause everyone's gonna be like, oh, I'm going here. I'm going to the, to the skur. I'm going to skur, I'm going to skur. And then everyone's like, wow, no one's returning from skur. Wonder what's going on over there. <coughs> like I seriously cough around a fire. That's so dumb. <laughs> <coughs> in here. Get the dog. He makes more noise than me. Or is that a wolf? Could be a wolf. What's over here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> Achievement unlocked choking hazard. What's going on here is a lot. Ooh! Yes, please! What's in here? Can I open? I cannot open. Thing over there. Cool cemetery, though. It's in shambles. I don't know why. I hear when you're in a graveyard, though, that it's bad to walk on graves. You shouldn't walk on graves. Very bad. Nothing over there. What's this? Do I look at this? <laughs> Prudence Williams. Is that our mother? That's our mother, right? June 28th? Cool, it's July 28th. <gasps> There's people. Oh shit. Shut up. That's literally all you have to do is just shut up. Such a simple thing. They can't even see you. Just shut up. Hello! Vagina face is what I'm gonna call him. 
Ew. <laughs> Get those crusty ass nails out of my face. Run! Oh, we dead. We took that hit to the face. We are dead. Nope, that's death. Sorry. Oh, we're alive. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh, that makes me squirmish. Okay, but if they're blind, though, wouldn't they run after us and then also fall into the hole? Fun fact, they say when you're stabbed or something, you should definitely leave it in there. Especially if it's in like in a permanently bad place, like, I don't know, the gut or something, or like a vein. So that they can take it out at the hospital safely. Because if you take it out now, you're just going to be gushing blood, you're going to faint, and you're not going to be able to get help. Which we just did. We just... <laughs> Dearest brothers and sisters, this is Jebediah. This is our father, right? I think it's our father. I have, well, they haven't named our father, but they said that Will, the Williams, this guy, so I'm guessing is our father. This is High Council of the Quiet Ones, invites you to revere in the power from the song of our source. Together we will attain true control. Be assured to bring your offering of flesh and bone to sacrifice the weakness within, to join us in the ritual of rebirth. Remember, your garments of the Quiet Ones to shield from the weak leeches of the sacrifice. Our beloved silent disciple, Prudence, has volunteered... Silent disciple? Hmm. Has volunteered for the position of priestess. This is a high honor for us all. Her position will be anointed at our next gathering of the brothers and sisters. Yours quietly, Jebediah Williams. Huh. So what's it called? The Quiet Ones. I think I remember the Steam page saying something about that. I don't like to look too much into it. I like, okay, so it's a trick. I have to look into it to be like, is this going to be good? But I also don't want to look too much into it because, like, I like to be surprised. I like to, the mystery of it all. That's all well and good you saying that. But I don't see why I shall need your assistance. I like it less than you. I have other jobs need attending. But your father insisted. Make sure she practices. She must be ready. His very words. Be ready for what? This here uh, contraption is spinning. So go on with you. Start your singing. You said be ready for what? Well, um... Well, how should I fucking know my brother's mind? Fucking hell, lass. Are you bloody well gonna sing or what? Oh, fine, then. <clears throat> Little So I'm guessing that was the uncle again. Yeah, he seems like a bit of a douche, but I wonder if he has any control, really. Y'all, I want to play hide and seek in a graveyard. Like a huge graveyard like this one day. That'd be so fun. See, look. So there's screams. I don't think Prudence is evil. I think Prudence was used for her voice and then- What? 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 Why are we coughing? There's literally no reason to be coughing. That dust cloud right there? Stupid idiot. Can I open this? Cannot. Yo! The fuck? Bitch, give me- Hey! <gasps> you- Why- Why are we not filling our pockets right now? Doubloons? Jewels? Pearls? Holy shit. We'd be set. Whoever we are. Yeah. Oh. Well, we might be rich already, who knows? But we could just, oh my God. After we get Elizabeth, we're coming back down here. I don't care who you are. The storm of the century battered the island last night. The men, they say to have spotted a vessel off the coast and my father has ordered us to extinguish the flames of the beacon. Why? <gasps> Word from the men informs me that a ship ran aground on the stone coast. Well, yeah, when you turn off the lights. Oh, I see why. I Never mind. I see why. East of Skirt Point, myself in awe at the size of this vessel, engraved on a plague on the port side of the ship. Read, read, it, read its name, HMS Providence, which the sign is right here. February 10th, 1874. My men, under order by my father, 
Transferred the remains of the ship into the cavern beneath Skirt Point. We salvaged what we could from the ship, anything of value. Most importantly, the contents of the cargo hold. February 11th, 1874. Something was discovered inside the wreck, buried in the cargo hold, something I've never seen before. It's alive, and in such a tragic state. My father thinks it's fortunate that it is weak for it. That it is weak for it tries to sing. Unloading the cargo, some of the men have began to act strange in the presence of this creature. Its singing seems to have an effect on them, even in its weakened condition. I find this fascinating and need to take notes. Father's becoming concerned. The more I learn about the mindless creature, it seems that the song it, le- it sings lures its prey, so it can devour and survive. My father is beginning to see the potential of this beast and what we can accomplish with its power, if we can somehow harness it. February 15th, 1874. My father has begun to use this creature upon Skirt Point, chained to the beacon to aid in luring vessels. Here. With, <laughs> with this, we can increase our potential earnings from the wrecks. I may have an idea of harnessing this power further. With the help of my beloved Prudence, I will take some time to present this to a father and get his blessing. Isaac Williams. Okay, wait. So Isaac is the father, right? So then who is Jebediah? Is Jebediah the grandfather? Or is he the brother? I feel like I'm missing something here. Do my father seeks? No, still no idea. Okay. I got a family tree somewhere. That'd be nice. So they wreck ships and they steal their fortune and then they redo the process. But they found something, some kind of creature. Is it a mermaid? Is it a siren? They found something. To ha- well, yeah, to lure ships in. That's a siren, isn't it? Or is that a mermaid? But then they want to use prudence somehow. So if they already have the siren's voice, then why would they need a different voice? You know what I mean? Questions, questions, confusions, confusions. <gasps> I did not even see him. Oh my god, I did not even see him. Ah! <laughs> All right, so what what is what are we doing here? What 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 what? What? Nothing happened. Literally, literally nothing happened. Let's see what this does. It takes that away. Is it bringing it there? Yep. Oh, smart. Okay, lures him over there. Are they gonna come back? <laughs> you stupid, <laughs> why, I hate you. I hate you so much. Stop fucking coughing. All right, now let's do it again. We're gonna go hit that switch over there. <laughs> Stupid asses. I swear. Locked! What do you mean locked? Bitch, why is it locked? Is there something over here? Run, run, run. Look, look, look right away. It's coffee. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Why is it locked? What's over here? Open the door. It's not opening. What do I do? There's nothing over there, and this thing is just locked. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Oh, now it's not locked. What? Was it this? Was it this that I pressed? I have no idea. Let's continue. (laughs) 
Hola, niño. So these people, I'm assuming they're the... The shipwrecked people. Read. The blessing. Douse the follower to cleanse impurities. Oh, doubt, like, ooh, like spray them, wet them. The prayer. Expose them to its thrall. The exorcism. Shield their senses from the song. The rebirth. Arise new devotee to the silence. Jebediah A. Williams. Yep, they're doing that. It's the song. They play the song in their ears and it corrupts them. It makes them... That makes them meatloaf, is what it makes them. Walking meatloaf. It's timed! Okay. Here we go. Did it work? <coughs> oh my god! Why can't my house have a cool ass door like that? That'd be so cool. I'd also like that too, so that I know when people are like entering my home, it'd be so loud, like they would not be able to keep that from me, you know what I mean? It's dark over here, but is there anything? Yes, there is. Another collectible music box. going on <laughs> is that me grunting I don't think so Allah <gasps> dousing them oh it's gonna corrupt him they're turning him into meatloaf He doesn't want to be a walking lasagna! <gasps> okay, they didn't hear me. My objective has been retreat to the hotel. We're running. Okay. Oh my god. Are we running? I mean, no one's following us. But so I'm saying though, if they can't hear me. Why would they be able to scare me like that? You know what I mean? There's some, there's some, the matrix isn't making sense right now. There's some, there's some errors in the code. <laughs> I should have been able to watch that chill. All right, but with that, I think that's gonna be the end of part one. I'm recording this in parts because it is e easier for editing, but also because I don't know how long the game's gonna be. So I'm just gonna do this in parts for now. But I hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked. If you didn't like, that's okay. If you did like, go ahead and call me out in the comments. For my shit. I don't know if I <laughs> said some shit. You know, just make fun of me. Have fun. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye!